crisis and political unrest, in just a few short weeks they appear to have put a serious damper on the world economic mood. What kind of an effect are uh, flashpoints like these having on world economic activity? That's what I'll be talking about with Stefan Schneider from Deutsche Bank Research. Mr. Schneider, how has the DBIX, mm. uh, your business economic barometer, developed uh, in face of all these crisis situations? If we look at the DBIX for the global economy as a whole, actually those crises are not really showing up. It's still unchanged at plus 0.8, like in the previous month. However, if we look at the contributions, then we can see uh, a clear uh, divergence uh, evolving. Uh, in particular, the US is really steaming ahead, very good numbers, uh, pointing to a continued strong growth in the second half of the year. Whereas in Europe, and I think here one of the crises is having an impact already, namely the Ukraine crisis, particularly on Germany, we can see that business conditions have uh, deteriorated quite considerably. China is uh, softening somewhat, but still doing okay. And Japan, which is in a kind of special situation given the introduction of the sales tax in the second quarter, is more or less moving sideways. Mm. How serious impact can flashpoints like these have in the long term? I mean, it obviously depends how these crises evolve. And um, I think the most uh, obvious one is the Ukraine crisis. A further escalation of sanctions would certainly not help. Uh, we might see further retaliations from Russia. And um, so this will probably uh, not only have very short term effects on exports, which are very clearly visible in German exports are down by more than 15% uh, towards Russia. Uh, but it should also weigh on investment spending. And maybe if we look at consumer confidence data and look into the details, we can see also that the expectations of consumers with regard to business cycle outlook have uh, dropped dramatically. So they could even have an impact there. In the very long term, it obviously depends on what's going to happen with the peace dividend, mm -hmm. whether and we have just the NATO summit, uh, whether the Western countries will come to the conclusion that they have in the medium term to ratchet up their uh, defense expenditures. Mm -hmm. At the moment, everyone seems to be counting on strong data from the US. But is this enough of a buffer to, um, to prevent um, worse consequences mm -hmm. for the world economy? I mean, it certainly helps. The US is still the biggest economy in the world. It has a strong demand effect on uh, especially the smaller Asian economies, but also Mexico and Canada. But um, I mean, the scenario everyone hoped for was uh, strong growth coming from the US and China, and this basically pushing global trade in higher territory. This is not materializing. Global trade is still basically bumping along at uh, growth rates of around two and a half, three percent. And this is really one of the reasons why the situation in Europe, but also in Japan, is not improving as expected. Mm, yes, well, Europe is threat threatening to fall into recession. Uh, is this uh, a homemade problem or um, is this uh, due to the geopolitical crisis situation? Um, various aspects. I think it's very difficult to uh, distinct uh, the various aspects. I mean, obviously, uh, Russia is an important uh, factor, especially in Germany, but uh, we will see that uh, some of the uh, sanctions might also have an impact on some of the other countries and especially given that Germany is a very important market for other European countries it might have indirect effects um, on the other crisis so far the the problems in the Middle East haven't really impacted the oil price which would be the transmission into into Europe but but I think again it's external but it's also internal that there is some disappointment with regard to reforms in various countries. And on the contrary, I mean, the political situation in some of the countries has become more difficult. And the hope that there will be uh, a kind of a stronger pace towards reforms have diminished. Thank you very much, Mr. Schneider. This month, we will be talking about unease in Europe and the possibility that Europe could uh, turn away from austerity programs. Mm. For more on that, uh, go head for dw.de slash english slash made in Germany.